Can you do a quick, say, like, hi, I'm Josh Allen, let's throw it to the interview and see how you do throwing in this world? Hi, I'm Josh Allen, let's throw it to the interview. Okay, maybe a little more like... Add th- maybe yeah, emphasis yeah, on little, throw. Yeah, through it like... <laughs> hi, I'm Josh Allen, let's throw it to the interview. That was good. That's good. I met Josh Allen, or the idea of Josh Allen, long before I met him on the set of Good Morning Football when all we talked about every day was his cantaloupe farm. It was all about the cantaloupes and Josh Allen and that arm. Allen rolls, looks, fires, end zone. So we started Draft Josh Allen in 2017. Started as a joke, met Josh, and like, this guy's the greatest guy ever. So let's start with the most important question. How tall are you? 6'5". Fact one, Josh Allen is tall. He's tall, looks good in shorts. Rocket arm, rocket arm. Fact number two, Josh Allen's hands are bigger than any quarterback in the draft. Bigger hands, yep. yep. Confirmed big hands. I'll say something negative about Josh Allen. He owes us, I think, $15 million. You guys have That's relations not. with Josh Allen? Yeah. We're his agent. Yeah. Does he well, know that? No. We represent him unbeknownst to him. Do you have a team that you want to go to? Um, I mean, we'll cut this part. Tell us where you want to go. <laughs> We're not cutting this part. I've seen this too Keep many this times. On. The Buffalo Bills select Josh Allen. Quarterback, Wyoming. We obviously knew him before he was drafted, and we've been friends with him since. It's what you see is what you get. You think he's a great guy? Well, he is that in person. It never gets old. Josh is a person, just a guy's guy. What's up, bro? What's up, guys? I love you, bro. Goofy, just always looking for the next laugh. How's your rash doing? See you, bro. <laughs> Don't lie, Saibo. You know, someone you want to go hang out with outside of football. Players like to be around him. There's a camaraderie and a thing that he brings with this sort of boyish charm. How much do you guys know about the work that Josh has done in the community? We actually just did a Bill's media thing, and they asked us to talk about Josh's work in the community. We don't actually know what you do in the community, so we just were like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we know a lot about the work that Josh has done in the community. It's just, just outstanding. He like, does a lot of community work. The stuff that he's done. Um, uh, one more round of applause for our players today. That's unreal. With his what community he, work. What he did with the community, and I, also what he did with the community. It's it's really 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 cool. Cool. You know, you like that? <laughs> The videos I see of him doing stuff off the field, I'm like just asking myself how he has time for everything. And then on the field, he's, you know, Superman. Competitor flips the switch like no one I've ever seen. If we're taking the field and he's on our side, we know we got a chance to win. It's like a walking highlight reel. Now he's going to keep it. Nice over a man. He is in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Josh Allen, he's unbelievable. Josh Allen. Josh Allen becomes the first Buffalo Bill to land the cover of Madden. When he got that Madden cover, I was anything but surprised. You're going to see plenty of Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills every time you turn it on this year. Ah, I was so excited for him. Every kid's dream. When it happened, it was just like, yeah, it makes sense. Just another notch in what you're doing right now. Uh, Buffalo, how are we feeling? Is there something going on today? Somebody get on the cover of Madden or something? Yeah. Yeah. You see a lot of guys change a lot when they get the big contract or they're in the pros for a while. He's the same guy and he just loves football and loves people. Welcome your cover athlete of Madden 24, Josh Allen! Let's go, Josh Allen! Josh, what's it mean to you to be on the cover of Madden? You know, it, I don't know if it's hit me yet, to be honest. Um, obviously, it was a very surreal moment. I'm um, sitting there with my, my agent and calling my family and letting them know I was asked to do it. It's a game that I played growing up. As a kid, I, I literally learned the game of football through Madden. Timeout. If it's in the game, it's in the game. John Madden football for Super NES and Sega Genesis. Where'd that truck come from? EA Sports. It's in the game. I was talking to Deion Dawkins yesterday, and. He was just saying, like, I don't think you realize that every kid that turns on their Xbox or PlayStation, like, it's going to be you. It's going to be your face. And um, when he said that, it kind of it did resonate with me. Feel good? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Cool. A new season brings new hope, new opportunity, new dreams to come to life. It's such an honor to be on the cover of Madden. It's a very small, select group of people that have ever done it. So uh, to now be on the cover of it, I can't thank EA and Madden enough for allowing me to do that. And it's a huge blessing for sure. Escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. 
I mean, we all grow up playing that game and kind of idolizing whoever's on the cover. And so, and it's a dream come true for anyone playing football. There's no one more deserving. Just couldn't be more proud of them. Bill's Mafia, you guys are awesome. This cover is so dope, is it not? It's pretty damn cool. Yeah, I mean, the shoot was really fun. They brought fans from a Bill's Mafia backer bar in LA. They didn't tell them that they were gonna be on the cover. So when we walked out, like their reactions were real and, and genuine. It's the first time that any fans have been on the cover. So to share that with, with Bill's Mafia and the fans there, and I know it's something that they're gonna cherish and, and hold close to their hearts for a long time because they're the perfect embodiment of a fan base of what it should be. I can't thank Bill's Mafia enough for supporting me. And, uh, I'm just glad we got to share this moment together. Him being on the cover shows you that we're real. We're on that national stage that we might not have been on in years past, but all eyes are on us, and that kind of makes everything a little more special, especially for the city of Buffalo. Having a national stage like that, it's pretty special to bring that type of attention to such an awesome city that might get overlooked sometimes. To give the city of Buffalo and the Bills just this more coverage, the better. And for Josh to be representing us like that, I mean, you wouldn't want another player uh, just because of who he is as a person and the type of dominant football player he is. Is there any place better to be on a Sunday than in Buffalo in front of Bill's Mafia? I mean, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Football is back, baby. Football is back, baby. It's time for the Madden 24 Ultimate Kickoff. It's time for the Madden 24 Ultimate Kickoff. Great. Let's cut there and let's do the next one. That was awesome. Thank you. Take two. What's up, guys? Josh Allen here at the Madden Reveal Party. We got some special guests coming in into the swag room here. I'm gonna go behind the wall here and uh, surprise them here in a few minutes. You ever done anything like this before? No, never. Oh, so this is Alan Storm. Pretty cool, right? Some juice right there, yeah. Two red and two blues. Yeah. How's it going? We're good with these ones right here. How you guys doing? Don't cry. How you guys doing? Thanks for coming. Let me sign those for you guys. I'm Josh. Nice to meet you guys. Pleasure. Hi. I'm Josh. How you doing? I call you Joshy. That's for only you. Okay. Only you. You and my mom. Okay. That's it. You guys like the cover? Oh, I'm yeah. Yeah. Sweet, huh? hey, come on, let's get a photo real quick. Thanks for coming out. Do you have a story that is like a perfect representation of Josh? And I just think about his work in the community. Hey, guy five. Oh, thank you so much. Nice to see you guys. You know, Josh Allen has to have these goals, right? These lofty goals, this pressure on his shoulders to do well on the field. But there's also a part of him that's really dedicated to the community. I want to thank you for everything you've done, yes. Rose Shy. Yes. We were in the hospital room when you came by next to the really beautiful picture of your grandmother with yeah. everybody from Kaleida. So, and it's a we were in the room place. across the street, and it really needs help. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate so it. Of course. Thank you. thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Three years ago, my grandmother passed away. It was unbelievable that the support that, you know, Bill's Mafia and football fans around the country, fans started donating $17 to Oshai Children's Hospital and it got so big and happened so quickly and to now be the Patricia Allen Fund and have the Patricia Allen Wing at the hospital, it's something that I'll be forever, you know, indebted to and that's why it's so near and dear to me. I don't know who inspires who more, the Bill's fan base or Josh Allen or whether it works in tandem, but the dynamic is help others. How's it going? <laughs> 
Hi, Josh. Sophia, how's it going? Good to see you. As a kid, I remember being with my family in the hospital because my brother, he was in there for, for about a week and just not knowing what was going on and my, my parents were kind of struggling and I know my brother was panicking. To know that feeling, to understand that, any way that I can give back to whether it's a kid, whether I just walk in and say hello, because again, I, I was that kid that idolized players. Can I have a hug? Oh, great to see ya. I understood the impact of, of what sports can do for people and, and kids especially. So anything that I can do to just warm up their day or help them and their family out in a time of need, that's the most fulfilling part to me plays the hardest position in football at the highest level possible. It's hard to wrap your head around what he's able to do with the time that he has. Me and him have done similar charity work for a long time. We've been a part of a charity called Nigu. But I wear this bracelet every day. Never comes off. It's called the Nigu Foundation. So it's the Never Ever Give Up Foundation. So when you put this on, you can't take it off. Are you willing to do that? All right. Well, there we go. It's always inspiring to see the city just rally around causes like that. Usually Josh is in the center giving his time or money. It doesn't surprise me, you know, he just, he does all the right things. He has good people around him to help him do the right thing. Nearly everything he does has a component of giving back. Even his 117 holes this year, I know how much that means to him and I know it means a ton to the city too. But I also know how important it is to have people who love this city back the way we love them. Guys and gals will wake up at crack of dawn and they start playing and they walk and play 117 holes. But to be out there and see these guys just grind, they, they're swapping shoes every couple rounds. They're you know going to take a quick shower and making sure that they're staying staying good to go. Because it is, it's I think it's right around 37 miles that they walk throughout the day and play golf. So those guys are, are awesome. And I think every year it's just continually gotten bigger. 323,747 dollars. Amazing! Congratulations and thank you! I think it's important to me to spend time and money here in Buffalo. This is a place that I'm going to be for a very long time. This is my home. Any life advice today, Josh? Life advice. Insert Confucius quote here. Love it. I think Josh perfectly defines Bill's Mafia. I'm gonna sign after, okay guys? I mean, it's, it's clear he is the franchise quarterback. He's the guy that everyone is drawn to. You see it with the fans. It's a very cool experience to see how much he means to the city of Buffalo. It was a perfect match for him. The people here, the way he acts, the way he interacts with these people. You need a tough, gritty quarterback that represents Western New York. I think it's it just couldn't have been better. There's a knowledge in that, and of course it's part character, but it's part understanding that he is what this fan base has been waiting for, for decades. For the fans to have the starting quarterback just totally be able to relate to everyone in the stands and be a man of the people. And him really embracing that and knowing what it is to be part of this community. They're just as important to him as he is to them. The way he interacts with the fans, the way he is with Bill's Mafia. He's out there signing autographs almost every day, taking pictures, holding babies. He's truly very down to earth, humble guy. He doesn't see himself as too good to do anything like that. Just another testament to who he is as a person. It's important to me to do that, especially at camp. Those people are coming out there to watch us practice, and you know, just a small interaction I know can have such an impact on a kid because, again, I was I was that kid. Whether it's a wave, whether it's going around high-fiving people, it's signing stuff, it's taking photos with them, it's just giving them something that they can be like, I went to practice and like, I got a high-five from so-and-so. I think that can play such a big part in a young kid's life, especially that, that loves football. And I just remember I can put myself in those shoes and understood what it would mean to me if somebody took the time out of their day to give me the, the smallest little gesture. Yeah, so like, do you know that you're a superstar or do you just imagine that you're just a regular guy. I'm a, I'm a regular guy. So I was with Josh his rookie year back in 18. I still see him as a little stepbrother. He's the same exact guy 
that I met as a rookie. Goofy, I think he's boyish, he's playful. He's always got the jokes. Job strap, job strap. Is that you that keeps farting? Yeah, I mean, if anything, he's more goofy than when I met him six or seven years ago. You need a little meal, guys! The little. It almost lets you play more free when you know that he's in a good mood. Being able to be so locked in while also being able to maintain his sense of humor. What's up, my green monkeys out here, ref? It's weird because you would expect to see a change and you know the attention that he's had from the media now, being on the cover of Madden, being on that world stage, it turns a lot of people kind of cold to some of that stuff, but he truly has been the same guy. One, it's my family, it's my faith. Two, I think it's my love for football. Like, I just, I love this game. He's just himself, you know? I think that's what lets him be that person. For him, he just wants everyone else to have the best time ever and have so much fun, and he really cares about his teammates. He cares about the people in Buffalo and the city, and he pours into it, you know? He doesn't leave anything back. No group I'd rather go to war with than the ones right here, man. Love y'all, win on three, one, two, three! Just the chemistry he has with the locker room is exactly what you would want from your quarterback. To have guys that you're familiar with, that, that know football, that know your life, that you can be open and honest with, that's what makes this room fun too, as we all previous friends. There's some rooms you go into and no one knows each other, but it's different socially. Here, we're just all so comfortable. Strike up the band, cue the shout song. Cue the shout song, man. All right, ball, Josh, please. He always keeps the team laughing, keeps everything light, but when it's time to lock in, it's go mode. Love, I tell them that it's my turn. See me coming through, got me hoping that they might learn. Not a day went by on Good Morning Football where we weren't wowed by something Josh Allen did. He's going to switch the ball yeah. just so he can pull it. Wow, what? The dude executes. It's fun to watch, it's impressive. It looks different when he's on the field. I never met nobody that's still yearning for the time. And there's a very small, elite, rare group of players that when they get the ball in their hand, it is showtime. And that is the Josh Allen experience. He's just gonna run it. I mean, he's an alien. I didn't know it was possible, but a different switch was flipped just to take it to the next level. Here goes Allen. Going for the inside is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Josh Allen completely focused on the end zone. You couldn't ask for a better face of the franchise with what he does on the field paired with the type of guy he is. It's cool to see his growth as a leader, just taking control and having a voice. Let's get going. You ready to go get one more? You ready to go get one more? All right, let's go, let's go. Just making sure that we're up to par with what he expects us to be because he knows that we're capable of playing at that level. The guys that we got here, the, the leadership that we have, and just the progress that we've continued to make and, and try to establish a winning culture here where now it's like, this is the standard. We need to win. Sports is all about the story. Someone delivering a Super Bowl to Buffalo would be one of the most incredible stories. Yeah, I think we've gotten close these last couple of years, right? We've got a little taste of what a championship feels like, and we want it all. And Josh is leading the charge. Josh Allen can do magical things. I could say he's more locked in than he ever has been. It's almost scary now seeing him take that extra step forward, and it just shows you how bad he wants us to win a championship, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to get there. I just love this game so much. I love the camaraderie piece of the teammates. I love working extremely hard and knowing that what I'm doing is going to put me over the top on the field with my teammates. And that's what drives me is, is bringing a Super Bowl back here and really nothing else matters to me.